How's it going everybody? My name is Jason. I'm an engineer with uh, AEM Performance Electronics and today I'm going to show you a little bit about our screens tab in our Dash Design 2.1 software. To begin with, I have our screens tab open on my desktop here. And what this shows uh, are the various screens that are available on your Dash. Uh, we have four main screens, so you can set up four different pages with all different types of data uh, and information you may want. We have an alarm screen that is a latching screen. Um, so when the alarm is triggered, that alarm screen will pop up and it will remain on the screen until you acknowledge that alarm by pushing uh, the alarm reset button on the dash. Uh, we also have our on change screen, which can be triggered by any uh, data value that changes um, and you can configure those uh, values and we'll go through that here in a little bit. And then we have our splash screen, which is the uh, screen that is shown when your dash powers up. We can put anything we want on that screen and we can change the time with which that screen is displayed. Uh, so first we're gonna go into our screen one. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see this a little better. Um, here I have open one of our base uh, infinity layouts that's provided with the Dash Design software when you download it from our website. Um, as you can see on here, there are a variety of channels. We have a clock, uh, battery volts, engine speed, mile per hour boost, water temp, AFR, bank one and two, oil pressure, throttle position, an odometer. So the first thing I'm gonna do to make changes on this screen uh, is click the unlock layout and that's going to allow me to move items throughout the screen here. Let's say I don't like this screen and I wanna bring a different screen in from another layout that we have. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to go to our screen and the first thing I'm gonna do is clear the screen and what that's gonna do is that's gonna delete all of the images, all the channels and all the associations linked to that screen. So clearing that, everything is gone. You can see our gauge structure here is now empty and I'm going to click the import screen. And what this does is this brings up every screen in this particular file folder, um, which defaults to our AEM uh, Dash Design Setups folder. And we can scroll through. Uh, I have alarm screens, various screen ones. Um, and so I'm just gonna pick one. I'm gonna click OK. And it's that easy. Now, the only thing we need to do is make sure that our channels are linked to the appropriate channels um, that match our configuration file for our dash. So clicking through here, you can see that the dash uh, design software was able to auto recognize um, all of these values and auto populate them for us. So I don't really have to do anything beyond this. The next screen we're gonna take a look at is actually our alarm screen. So I'm gonna double click here, bring that up. Over here on the right hand side, uh, there are, uh, there's a window uh, called alarm triggers. These are all alarms that have been configured in our alarms tab. Uh, if you're not familiar with the alarms tab, make sure to uh, watch that video. There's gonna be a link uh, down below for you to take a look at that. And, uh, and you can see none of these checkboxes are, are ticked which means that my alarm screen is never going to be triggered. Um, so I'm gonna actually select the alarm ECU engine protect, and that's going to trigger my alarm screen. And just to make sure, let's see what triggers the ECU engine protect by going to our alarms. And so we have a channel uh, from the Infinity called engine protection state. And anytime that is greater than zero, uh, meaning it, this is a bitwise value, so it's going to be either a zero or a one. So if the value is greater than zero or equal to one, uh, it's going to be active and it's going to trigger our alarm screen. Uh, the other screen we're gonna take a look at is our on change screen. Uh, I'm gonna use a little different method here to get to the on change screen. You can see I can click the alarm screen down here at the bottom, screen, or I can click the arrows for the next page, which brings up our on change screen. You can see in this layout, there's nothing on the screen. Uh, so I can bring in just some simple text. I'm gonna leave that there, maybe an image. So I'm gonna select mode switch and assign this uh, as one of our triggers. So now anytime 
the mode switch value changes, this screen will pop up. And the last thing we want to uh, look at is we can have an initial delay, which means that when that change is made, you can calibrate a delay time uh, for when the screen pops up. So, you know, let's say you're, you're in your race car and you're going down track and you, you're reaching over and uh, making a change and you, you know, maybe your eyes have drifted a little bit down to the switch. So we can set a calibratable on delay, which we call our initial delay. And that's going to uh, delay the time before the on change screen populates. And we also have our revert timeout delay, which is how long the on change screen will stay on the screen before it reverts back to the previous screen. So that's a quick overview of our screens tab, but I'm sure what you really wanna know is how do we design a screen? How do we build our layouts? Uh, make sure to stay tuned for our next video. We're gonna go over our design aspects of our screens. So that's it for this time but make sure to follow us on all our social media accounts, uh, AM Electronics on Instagram, Facebook. Make sure to give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and let us know what you'd like to see in the future. And we'll see you next time in the design video. We're here at AM Electronics. Somehow I've defeated their security system, so we're gonna give her. So these little light LEDs on the sides, are those meant to function as warning lights? They can function however you want. You okay. can use it as a check engine light. You can okay. use it as a, really however you want. My favorite feature is the price. Oh yeah? <laughs> the price is enough.